Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online. And in today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the structures because CCP came out with a div block not that long ago, where actually at the end of the div block, there is something pretty important to know if you still run a player owned star base or a boss uh, like I used to. Uh, this is also uh, the basis of my, my old video, which was Industry for the Little Guys. That was actually very popular and people still watch that from time to time. All that information is, of course, now going to be um, retired. Doesn't, uh, does, doesn't really apply anymore to EVE Online because in the August release, which should be coming next week on August 15th, CCP is going to uh, remove all of the bonuses that you get for producing stuff. Uh, in star bases, uh, so in the old boss systems, in order to basically uh, incentivize people again to take down their bosses and to move into the new structures. And so what we're talking about is this old system. You can still see that I have the stuff lying around here. For instance, I have Serpent Control Tower or a Galente Medium Control Tower. Uh, you just needed to fuel that one up to a, a certain amount and then you could anchor up a compression array, a reprocessing array, a small ship assembly array, ammunition assembly array, component assembly array, etc, etc. And it was in these structures that you would produce all your stuff. But uh, certain towers would get bonuses. Uh, I think um, uh, the, the reprocessing arrays also had actually a very good yield uh, in the bosses back in the day. All of those bonuses are now being removed. Uh, so it's, it's really going to make very little sense anymore to keep a boss up and uh, to do your manufacturing uh, from there uh, after the August release. So uh, from that perspective, I want to quickly make this video to yeah, give you guys that heads up uh, and I'll probably link from the industry uh, for, uh, for the small guy uh, to this video as well so that people know that uh, the, the information in that video, which is still popular and probably pops up in searches, is no longer current in EVE Online. Instead, we have moved on to the new structures. So I've got my Wraith here and I grabbed a quick blueprint so that I'll show you guys uh, how it now works in EVE Online if you happen to come across this video uh, through the old one. So um, what, uh, what I'm undocking from here is, of course, an NPC station. So a good old uh, a, a station that is not owned by players in HiSec. You can do manufacturing and research in some of these stations as well, but it tends to be cheaper uh, and more efficient to do it from your own structures. And so we're heading into the system of Dital, where I have my own structures and my own facilities up and running. I've got a, a Mjolnir cruise uh, missile blueprint, which normally it's, uh, it's, it's always what I advise people who want to start out with industry in EVE Online to go to Firth first is to go for some cheap uh, uh, munitions blueprints. The reason is there tends to be decently uh, steady uh, demand for those, especially uh, when there's a lot of ratting being done nearby or when a lot of missions are being run nearby. Um, and as a result, I think that's your easiest gateway to discover whether or not industry is something for you. These are also pretty cheap here, for instance, five, 5 million for a Mjolnir cruise missile blueprint. Definitely not that much. Even newer players can find this affordable and can experiment with these, uh, with these blueprints. So um, I am assuming, of course, that you're playing EVE Online uh, since at least a little bit and you know some of the basics. Uh, what you need to understand is that while CCP is still in the process of replacing all functiona uh, functionalities from the old POS system into the new structures, uh, at the moment, uh, the best reprocessing that you can get uh, is from, from these citadels like the Astraus. Uh, that is going to change and is probably going to be moved to the new refineries which are coming into the uh, expansion in December uh, or this winter. Um, but this is basically uh, a structure, uh, whether it's a citadel at the moment or a refinery later on. If you want to do the mining and you want to do uh, make your own minerals, basically your own base materials for your production, you'll probably want a specialized uh, structure for that as well, which I have here, uh, for instance, which means that uh, for this blueprint, I can then uh, grab some resources in order to build it. So for Mjolnir cruise missiles, I need some titanium, some pyrite, some exelon and some zydrine. And here we've got some exelon, pyrite, titanium, 
and some side drying as well so that should be that uh, let's maybe just toss this in here toss this in here because it's not that much and i will just add as much tritanium as possible as well and so now if you want to do industry i have another structure nearby where you'll actually want to do your industry so let's move over here i have another right taru just 1500 kilometers away it's called uh, co-incorporated manufacturing and this is where i have the service running uh, in order to do manufacturing myself and uh, this is actually affordable this is this is pretty cheap just uh, a, a few hundred million isk in order to get the base structure a little bit more uh, investment needed in order to uh, get this right oh, of course i need to take control of it first so let's maybe start with this and this put that in the item hanger then i'll take control so this is basically what has replaced the boss when it comes to uh, manufacturing and the citadel which you're seeing all the way over there is at the moment what has replaced the player owned starbase for reprocessing compression uh, and, and things like that but that will again be moved later on to the new refineries that's where you'll get the best possible yields and so uh, as i said a couple hundred million i think maybe 400 million or something like that for the base hull and then you can add um, more defenses if you want you can add the uh, low slot too but here is where uh, what you will need standard manufacturing plant one which is basically replacing almost all of those uh, facilities that you saw uh, all of those services that you saw uh, at the beginning of the video that I still had inside that station that were used in the post. So this can make munitions, rigs, small ships, I think cruisers as well, uh, probably up to battleships, but also uh, any equipment uh, that, that needs to be made. All of this is now consolidated in one single uh, service. So that makes it a lot easier uh, to, uh, to, to basically get this up and running and be able to make a multitude of uh, goods yourself uh, so with this base structure and just this one service you can definitely go for munitions and if you've got the hang of it move up to some um, to some items uh, for instance I I've gone for some mining stuff so I have uh, I, I have blueprints for mining lasers uh, for for mining upgrades and things like that and then later on you can move up to ships frigates then cruisers then battleships as the blueprints become more expensive looking for the right markets can of course then get you better margins more profits and that's the whole idea behind manufacturing here and so let's uh, get out of this one release control and let me show you guys the process uh, that, that is now being used, of course. So you saw me put the blueprint in the item hanger. I also have the resources in the item hanger. So now it's a very simple process. You just double click on the uh, blueprint, which brings you into the industry window. And uh, here you've got uh, my research jobs that, uh, that are running. And next to that, of course, now I have the blueprint um, and I need to do manufacturing, which is what I can do here. And if I want to, apparently I don't have a lot of titanium with me, I could do 50 batches of this blueprint Mjolnir cruise missile. So this is going to cost me um, a certain amount, around 140,000 units of uh, titanium, around 21,000 units of pyrite, 3,000 units of mixlon, and 179 uh, units of zytrine. It even gives you a calculation, rough calculation, 1.2 million ISK in input materials. Uh, then I'll do 50 runs of this. You can also see that my blueprint has been researched to the maximum. And the result is going to be 5,000 Mjolnir cruise missiles. And at the current general valuation in the market, that's actually 1.5 million ISK. And so especially in the right area, where for instance the rats happen to be more vulnerable to these Mjolnir missiles, you'll be able to get a nice price of that. And that's how you make a little bit of profit off of manufacturing. Uh, it's also going to take around 5 uh, hours and 46 minutes to complete and the job cost is going to take uh, 18,000 ISK in order to produce. So the profits is definitely there for this job. Uh, you also have all the details about the costs, so my tax at 0.0%. 
so that I know exactly uh, who is running uh, some jobs in me and, and whether or not the facilities are used very often, but it's not uh, put there to make any profit. It's only 18 is on this particular job. So most of the tax is coming from the system cost index, which is at 2%, actually starting to be decently high, uh, but uh, definitely still very, very doable. All you have to do is press start. There we go. And this is going to be a personal job because I did this from my own hangar. And here you can see it. Mjolnir cruise missiles, 50 runs will be done in five hours and 46 minutes. When that one is uh, done, just like I can now do with this corporation um, research job, I can just press deliver. And in the item hangar or the set hangar that I chose, we'll then have the blueprint and a batch of these cruise missiles available so that I can bring them to the market try to sell them for that awesome profit. And that is basically the way that industry is working now. Uh, the biggest advantages are that um, these, uh, these structures have vulnerability timers, the old bosses, you could attack them 24 hours a day. Uh, and of course, it's all consolidated in a single, um, in a single uh, service slot, which manufactures basically almost every, anything that you can use in HiSIG, you'll be able to make all of that from a single uh, service. Uh, when, once you go even bigger for capital ships and super capital ships and things like that, it becomes a bit more complex with different services and uh, all of that good stuff. Uh, but uh, especially for beginners, which uh, this video is really aimed at, yeah, this is actually very doable even for a single person or a tiny corporation. Getting a facility like this up and running uh, is, is definitely doable and is the way to go if you want to get into industry in EVE Online. On top of that, as I've said, you can scale up your investments the more you're busy with this, not only in your blueprints, but also if I take control again, you can see that I have not done this here either. But if you want better yields, like uh, lower material costs, lower time and, and, and lower taxes, you can also improve uh, all of your bonuses through the rig slots on this uh, on this facility as well, which is which is of course gonna cost you money, but as long as you can keep up with the volumes, you're actually going to end up uh, profiting from that as well. I don't do enough manufacturing uh, to make buying rigs uh, worth it really. Maybe I should check on the prices, they may have changed at this point. But uh, yeah, there you go guys, this is going to be it for this video, giving you guys a little bit of an update on industry in EVE Online. Also wanna sh short circuit a little bit all the faulty information uh, that is going to uh, be still coming through the old video on industry in a pause and especially uh, remind you guys that if if you're still using a pos for your refining for your compression for your manufacturing uh, definitely start thinking of putting that one down because in august these are going to become far less efficient than doing uh, your industry from a facility like this ccp is going to phase out the process at some time and this is all part of that plan to actually do so so good luck out there with your manufacturing thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all next time